Good afternoon and welcome to my regularly scheduled daily broadcast on Facebook Live and then YouTube and then I put the podcast, I'll mention that later. And this is episode number 466. And the topic today is why self-love is your most important key for a relationship. Before I get into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I'm speaking about this stuff. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author and speaker and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, and every day I do these talks on Facebook Live initially, called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Try them again. Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's topic is another spin on some things I've talked about before, but I want to bring it to this level because I saw a post today that just was like, of course I didn't mention this. So... I'm speaking from my own experience, but I'm also um, referencing a friend who posted something that inspired this, so it's not my original thought, but it's my um, launch pad, <laughs> if that makes sense. So again, I do these talks every day called Messages from, Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, Inspire Your Feminine Heart, excuse me, and today's number 466, so the topic today is why self-love is your most important key to a healthy relationship. Is it a healthy relationship? I mentioned that relationship, but it truly is, for a healthy relationship, your most important key. And I'll explain a couple of things so you know why and what it's about and where you can get it from. And again, at the end, I'll, I'll mention some links for things, things you can get from me, just so you know ahead of time. Also, I'll put in the information about where my Facebook Lives end up on YouTube and on my podcast as well. So, let's get busy, shall we? <laughs> um, before I begin, I want to make quickly say, as this is a Facebook Live, if you want to add questions, comments, type it on the screen as I'm going along, you can do so, and I'll respond to those along the way. If you do put comments and questions in afterwards, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, I'll respond to the comments afterwards as well. So there is interaction available. And of course, if you want to share this out with anybody you know, feel free to do so whilst it's in live playing or in the replay, that's fine too. Okay, I've done enough avoiding. Let me jump into this. Um, there's two parts of self, actually it's probably more than two parts. Self-love is important, as I've mentioned before. If you see my broadcast, you know I'm passionate about this. I even created a self-love practice, which I'll tell you about at the end. But I'm, I, I'm emphatic about this for a reason. Which reasons we should start with? <laughs> I'm reviewing about five right now. Um, most relationships I talked about last week are very much founded in codependence. And I had a conversation with some friends yesterday about this. The trap we fall into is that first of all we think the other person is going to save us and make us whole and make us feel great and then at the same time we're going to put up with what they give us and this is, this is one of the most um, insidious and under or unrecognized pieces of this problem and not, not loving ourselves first self love is not only a means to take care of yourself it's also a, a um, a fuel gauge, so to speak. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to speak, I'm not trying to sneeze on the microphone because that will make it much more painful for you listening. Um, they usually come in two, so maybe another one in a moment. Let me just start, keep going anyway. So, self love is a kind of fuel gauge. And what I mean by this is, and this is what was inspiring my talk from my friend's post, so thank you to. Um, to my friend about this um, because what I realized very clearly is that when we do love ourselves fully or I should say not the other way around when we don't love ourselves fully and we enter into a relationship we have no real gauge of how much love we'll accept from somebody or how little love we'll accept from somebody meaning that we'll put up sometimes with a huge amount of crap from somebody else because we have no internal reference point no fuel gauge no level at which we say no more and self-love, as much as it is a practice to learn how to love ourselves and appreciate ourselves, also, also creates within us, us collectively, a profoundly powerful place where we go, this is my standard. When you love yourself enough to the place where you're, oh, where you're in a place of ownership of who you are, your standards get raised, which means you don't settle for crap in relationships. So not only is self-love a useful tool to have in relationship, it's a very powerful tool to have before you get into one because what happens with self-love as a practice when you feel yourself up is you find yourself being in a place where um, a person's presentation to you 
has to pass the standard that you already have for yourself. So if you don't have a lot of self-love for yourself, you don't have a lot of appreciation for who you are and feelings of ownership, then they could come in, this person could show up and present you a small amount of love and you'll be going, that's cool, I like that, thank you so much. And you jump into a relationship. But when you've already filled up that void inside with your own self-love, because that's kind of a powerful place to be, first of all, and it's also better for you to do it for yourself than somebody else. Anyway, that's, I'm diverging, I've talked about these last week. But if you fill yourself up with love first, and you really are appreciating, loving, caring for who you are, then when somebody shows up to court you or, or to take you out or, or wants to date you, and they only offer this little bit of like appreciation, love, and affection, I wouldn't say necessarily you'd be, you'd be disdaining, but you won't be appreciating. Because what you'll realize is, is that for somebody to love you and to the relationship you want, the quality of, and the quantity and the level of respect they have to bring is a much higher level to match the level you already have for yourself. I'm trying to make this on the camera so it makes sense. So, self-love is one of these subtle yet profound tools and keys to install within you a, maybe not fuel gauge, but maybe a barometer, I'm not sure what analogy to use here, I'll come with one by Indian's broadcast I trust, a level of self um, respect that is higher than you were before. And when you raise the standard up in that level of self respect, then the only things you'll accept have to be that or higher. And that's a good thing. Because some of you watching this video, your standards have been so low because of past abuse, past messed up relationships, past upbringing by parents even, that your standards aren't even off the ground. So there's no standard by which somebody else has to comp compare, compete, or, st or step up to. And that's unfortunate. Which is why I'm passionate about you learning how to love yourself. Because those past experiences in past relationships, upbringings, abuse, different things, are absolutely adjustable as in you can reframe them, you can change them, but at the same time, you can also learn to love yourself up to a standard of quality, of appreciation, of respect, that if anybody shows up who does that old thing, you won't be interested. You won't fall foul, you won't fall foul of it. You won't be sucked into that old abusive paradigm. Most, most of the time. Some players are very good at this stuff, so I can't say guaranteed, because there are... Um, I can say this, expert abusers who can get in the door even if you don't think they can. So I won't say, and I'm not saying that's to, to, to scare you, I'm just saying to be aware of the fact that loving yourself is a key, but doing the inner work to heal the past, which I talked about a couple of days ago, is absolutely more a priority as well. So I'll, I'll tell you about those in a minute. So keys. So self-love, as I mentioned, is a key to having a healthy relationship. I you can change the title to healthy because healthy is a key part of it. One, it gives you a standard by which you will only receive above that level for coming in anybody courting or um, dating you. And secondly, your desperation and need for a relationship will diminish because you love yourself enough so you won't be needing that um, distraction of lower level quality relationship. It's also a powerful tool, self-love that is, to really learn how to gauge and navigate your own life without somebody else being in it. Because that's another part of being in a healthy relationship is you don't need that person to gauge your path. You already do learn how to love yourself so you can actually find your way through life, navigate and do what you want and have what you want. And then when someone shows up, they become additive to what you have. Because if you're running a game, which many people do, that your life will, will begin when that person shows up. It's, it's, a, um, it's a very limiting way of doing things very ineffective and very um, self-diminishing, I'll put it that way, all right? So, quickly just to recap these points. It sounds so simple, I know, and also for a lot of people, self lovely, a pish posh, who cares about that stuff? And it's, it's true, people don't have a lot of regard for it. It's one of the most underutilized and certainly um, was it disrespected maybe? Tools and qualities in life. If you have been um, looking down your nose at self-love practices, looking at self-love as just a um, some baby step, um, new age crappy thing that doesn't mean anything, 
this hopefully will tell you differently. It's ser I'm seriously making sure you get this point, that self-love, a practice of loving yourself, and I'm, in particular I'm going to talk about what I, I offer, which is a, a guided meditation with mirror practice. When you love yourself fully and you really are in a place of self-support and self-love, the quality of relationship you attract will change and will raise standards dramatically, and you won't be falling prey of, of sucking relationships, to be blunt. So as much as people go, yeah, self-love, don't care about it. It's like you don't understand how powerful it is until you use it. If you learn how to do this practice, and, I, and the practice I offer has a 30-day um, um, intention behind it. If you do this for 30 days, you'll learn how your own self-regard, your self-fulfillment, almost like your own barometer of quality has gone up so much, your choice in relationship will also go up to match that. The trap people fall into is they think that they don't need to worry about that. I'll find somebody perfect, I'll be great. If you look at your history, you may have been proven wrong on that case many times. And one of those simple things, and there are more, more, more keys and steps I may talk about this week, but this one particularly is a foundational one. And for many people, self-love is not even on the radar. In fact, most people are driven by, got to get it out there, because self-love is in here, which is not, not important, which is ridiculous. It's backwards, in fact. The work inside is where everything changes. The work inside is where your quality of life evolves and grows or crashes and burns, up to you how you do it. And self-love is one of these simplest little things, yet it's profoundly powerful that can change your life in every area, not just relationship, by the way. When you love yourself, and I'm using this term a lot, I know, when you learn how to love yourself, and not from a place of ego, this is the thing, I don't mean egotistical behavior. I mean self-love, self-respect, self-appreciation, self-approval, self-esteem, self-confidence, etc., 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 <clears throat> that are fuel from inside. When you have that um, reservoir and resource inside, your personal relationships will change, yes. But so will your business relationships, your social relationships, your social interactions, your financial dealings. Your whole life will change. Your physical health will change because you'll take care of yourself better. When you love yourself, you desire, you desire to take care of yourself increases with it. So I'm saying this is a powerful key. Deceptively simple and deceptively small. But if you overlook it, your life will suffer. Not as a threat, just saying it will not be as good as it could be if you love yourself. So I want to make sure you get how important I think this is, and I believe it will be for you too. So the more that you learn to love yourself, the more that you own your own self-esteem, self-support, self-approval, self-appreciation, the more your life will reflect back to you amazing positive experiences. It is that simple. So now let me tell you a couple of things. The self-love practice I talked about is something I've been talking about for months. If you go back and look at my broadcast from, well, probably the end of last year, for months I was talking about doing the self-love mirror meditation. Because some people ask for it in a more um, constructed format, I created a, a two audio guided meditations with a guidebook that will help you create this practice morning and evening for 30 days that will change your life. Well, I'll explain it here. I'm gonna, I'll, you, I'll tell you the link verbally and also put it in the comments below so you can go check it out for yourself. Um, my website, like my, social media is my, like my social media, is my name, which is Barry Selby, as I mentioned. So if you go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love, or one word, you can check it out there. I'm going to put the link in the comments below as well. And just peruse the information about it. You'll see some keys about why it works and what, does, what happens if you don't do it. And you just buy it and download it and use it right away. It's a, it's a guidebook and two audio meditations, a morning and evening practice that will, in 30 days, change your life. And if you're already in a relationship, this will help it as well. I should say a big about this, by the way, as well. So I was mentioning how self-love will actually help you become better prepared for a relationship. If you're already in one, I would recommend that if you take on this practice that you both do it, because it'll raise both your qualities. Because if you do it and the other person doesn't, it can put some stress on the relationship. Because if you're loving yourself and the other person isn't, it, it sort of tips the deck in a way that isn't working. So I highly recommend that you do, in fact, both practice this if you're in a relationship. Um, you'll discover that the quality of the relationship will improve dramatically, just as it would if you're looking for a new relationship over your old ones, same thing will happen too. So self-love is a key. Um, I mentioned also about if there's some, that you might have stuff that is stuck from past relationship experiences, with maybe abuse or neglect or other patterns that happened, which keep repeating themselves, and the self-love may or may not stop that. That's something you have to go deeper on, and that's, that's where my coaching comes in. I invite you to check out my I have a conversation with me on that. That's something you do as a free gift. 
if you go to barryselby.com forward slash chat you can sign up for that there so self love is a key but also getting clear about what's in the way from the past is a second key which I did mention in this broadcast but it's in there and either one of these will change your life so with that I invite you to take these on for yourself whether you do this on your own or if you use my practice I recommend that you do look at how you can make self love a powerful trans- transformation experience because it will change the course of your love life period so with that a <coughs> um, couple of things about where you find my broadcast as I mentioned this is a Facebook live initially but it goes onto YouTube and onto my podcast so where those are so you can find them or if you're watching them already in one of them you find them in the other places this is done on Facebook Live on, per- on my personal page first then it goes onto my business page in archive which is Barry Selby the author on Facebook it also then goes onto my YouTube channel which is Barry Selby and my playlist is Messages from the Masculine after that at some point in time not quite so quickly but nowadays I'm building it out I have a podcast on iTunes which is also called Messages from the Masculine where you subscribe, subscribe and download my broadcast there so that's where you find my re- replays um, if you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond afterwards. And again, if you feel like anybody should watch this, you can share it with them, please do so. And I'll, again, I'll put the links in the comments below for the soft love practice and for having a chat with me. So with that, I thank you for watching. As always, back again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. This is my daily broadcast, by the way. So tomorrow will be 460, 467. I haven't got a clue what it's going to be about yet. It's always a mystery to me until the day I do it. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. And uh, I wish you well. You're welcome, Hawaii. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Take care of yourself, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.